Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, August 6th. Today is a special day, the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. The opening sentence from Psalm 19, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The confession of sin on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. We say together, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant to most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of this Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we have a special antiphon this morning. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. The day, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. And your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that err in their hearts. They have not known my ways, of whom I swore my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O oh, come, let us adore him. We'll now have a uh, psalm reading. Psalm this morning is Psalm 27, found on page 299. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host were encamped against me, yet my heart would not be afraid. And though war rose up against me, yet would I put my trust in him. One thing have I desired of the Lord. One thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his tabernacle. Indeed, in the secret place of his dwelling he shall hide me, and set me high upon a rock of stone. It shall lift up my head above my enemies around about me. Therefore, I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and speak praises unto the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I cry unto you. Have mercy upon me and hear me. You speak to my heart and say, Seek my face. Your face, O Lord, will I seek. O hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord takes me in. 
Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in the right way because of my enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of my adversaries, for there are false witnesses who have risen up against me and those who speak wrong. I would utterly have fainted had I not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O oh, wait for the Lord. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. O oh, put your trust in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from the Gospel according to St. Mark, the ninth chapter, beginning with the second verse. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became radiant, intensely white, as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. For he didn't know what to say, for they were terrified. And a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, he charged them to tell no one what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what this rising from the dead might mean. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In your Book of Common Prayer on page 80, uh, you will find the Sergei Illuminati. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. For over you the Lord will arise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on page 20, the Apostles' Creed, together. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. We collect for the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who on the holy mount revealed to chosen witnesses your well-beloved Son, wonderfully transfigured in raiment white and glistening, mercifully grant that we, being delivered from the disquietude of this world, may by faith behold the King in his beauty, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On Tuesdays, we have a time of prayer for the uh, long-term needs of Christ the King. Heavenly Father, Prince of Peace, Almighty God, we praise you and worship you and give you thanks for your glory. I ask, Lord, that you would move among the leadership of our church. Give them your spirit's wisdom concerning how to move your church forward in our local body. Guide them with volunteer assignments. Guide them in terms of what ministries to promote and emphasize and guide them in terms of what changes to make to our building and physical structure. Yes, Lord, you, you have blessed us so richly at Christ the King, and we ask you to continue to guide us. Uh, and as Terry has prayed to uh, guide our leadership, our vestry and other leaders within our congregation, to, to touch people's hearts, to step forward um, daily, to mightily support us in their prayers and with their pocketbooks so that all the needs we have will be met, not in the last minute, but timely, so that there, there's never any unnecessary stress among the leadership. All these things we ask in your name, Lord. We continue with a prayer of St. John Chrysostom on page 26. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised for your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come. Life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.